Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit and put clips together so you can make your video. Alright, I just want to import some videos. I have this photos of headphones, which I really don't like. Let's just pick a mouse. I have these photos of this mouse right there, right there, right there. Uh, control right there, right there. That's all I want. So, I have the pictures of this mouse and I just want to drag it down here. So I want to, let's see, I want to pick this mouse first. If I just drag it down there, it will automatically adjust to its competition, which I don't like. Never mind that. So I want to create a new comp right there. And then I want to make it 10, 20, 1920 by 1080p. And then right there, drag a clip down there. You can see it's really large and you just want to click here. Transformations and position and scale is what I want. I don't want to no matter with the scale. So I want to turn this into 50. 50 is a good range for when you shoot like 4K image, I think. Really large email. Oh, 5,152 times 3,864 image. And position that and then, let's see, I want to make it go all the way up here. And say I want to make it drop down. So I would position that there, go on to two seconds, and then I would position this all the way down there. So I'm just clicking and dragging right there. And then it goes all the way down and now when you play it, it does that in a linear motion. Now to take this to the next level, I would highlight this to right click on the dot right there and then keyframe assistance, easy ease. So they turn into the time thingy. And then there, it's glitching for some reason, but you can view it and it's really nice smooth zoom and pan and shit. So you just click here and shift, drag down. And then and another. It doesn't matter which way you add it. Then I usually crop it there, and then I want this to be I don't know eight seconds. Uh, about, there we go. Two seconds now. This one's very large. Right? They always come in large because of the low competition and the high image. So right there, you can see this image. I don't want that image. But maybe I do. So I want this image. So. Go to the first frame right there, click on it, transformation, position the same thing. I wanna, I wanna turn the scale down, of course. And then, well, here's one new trick. You can just click and drag. So I'm gonna make it go here, like that. And then after you key that, go all the way to the end, and then just. I don't like the black there. Just drag it down there. So when you this is over, it will automatically do this. Now there's a skip between which I don't like, so it just jumps right there. So we're gonna add a smooth transition. One thing you can do is go here and key the opacity. So you wanna make it drop from zero all the way to when it draws there to a hundred. So you get this nice looking fade and fade in which I don't like because it leaves a little black and I do notice so and it's zero let's turn that into a hundred so it's like that and go to the effect and press set to apply the transition to make it smooth out down here you want to select I don't know linear wipe just a normal wipe and then you can mess around with the angle I usually like 180 and then the transition in the first frame, you want to key that, you want to make that 100. Or around 90, which is good too. 90 right there, it's kind of dark. And then you go here, a few frames out, and then make it 0. So it does this. So it does this. That wasn't a good example, so let's see. So it does this. It's really nice. And you usually want to add transition to the back of this. Now I will say one thing, uh, editing clips like this, putting together, usually you use an editing software, not a compositing software, which Adobe After Effects is. You want to use uh, Adobe Premiere or any other software you want, but I'm using this, I'm showing you how to do this on this because this is one of the easiest software I have ever used. So just go along with this. So. When you click and drag this, you can see it actually goes up like that. Phase in, which is really nice. And that's basically it. So you just click here, it just does that. 
And then to render, you just click here, four seconds, and then trim comp to work area, which is what I like. Then file, export, and then add to render Kiwi. Then specify to an output. I just want to put it to the desktop. Video. And then hit render. So it rendered out and basically when you go to the desktop, right click and then video plays like this. Of course we didn't add sound to this because well I don't have a sound recorded but what you do is just add a new layer right there. So add a new layer of sound so double click to import and then let's go to my folder and then combo review let's see recording just click on the file and then click down shit uh, competition and then just drop it down there and music will play hey guys you're good like that all right guys thanks for watching like comment and subscribe for more videos and next video will probably be on editing or a review of a mouse my brother is doing